I get asked this question a lot by students. How do I present my logo design work to clients or in portfolios? I wanted to create a template that can guide you step by step through this process. You can find the files for this template in a downloadable zip file at the beginning of the course. First off, there's the template. I crafted this to have several different layout options for various presentations. This has pages for presenting color palettes, logo variations, the grid, typography usage, and more. This template is meant to be customized to your unique client or logo presentation needs. You can craft shorter two to three page presentations showing multiple concepts or go more in depth with more detailed logo presentations. In the folder, you can find a sample PDF of one I put together for a logo design for a museum that shows it in action. If you open up the Adobe Illustrator template file, you'll notice you have multiple layout options for certain pages. Simply toggle on and off the sample layer to remove the example logo and place your own logo stuff there. You can add and delete pages to your liking. And yes, this can be opened using an updated version of Affinity Designer too. You can toggle off the sample layers by going into each page and turning them off. It does open a bit differently in Affinity Designer, but most of the file remains usable. There is a detailed guide on how to use the template in the file in the same folder called the How to Use Logo Presentation PDF. This file gives you tons of great tips and tricks for crafting professional logo design presentations. There are tips on how to export and send the presentation to the client, how to handle multiple concepts, presenting your work that uses golden ratio or grids, how to present color, differences between a logo presentation and branding guidelines, and more. Definitely worth the read. I hope you enjoy this added resource. I wanted to create something that gave you a head start on your logo and branding presentations, something I wish I had when I first started to do client and professional level work. 